Okay, great. So I'm Damien, the hardware engineer for Facebook. Um, we designed the uh, using V2 OneSocket um, platform. So um, here is uh, Anthony. Um, so Anthony is an electrical engineer. So uh, let's move to the next slide. So um, a lot of pictures. So um, this is our Yosemite 2 uh, module platform. They, um, so we have uh, several compartments. So the first one, we have the, the NIC compartments whereby we have, we support the OCP uh, MES 2.0. They can come in the 50G or 100G um, variant. And then the next, the next four slots, we have two compartments. One will be the, we, can, we have the call slot number one and three. They can put in the PCI CAM um, converter cards from our Yosemite um, to the PCI CAM PCI by 16 uh, card. And then all we can put in the Glacier Point, which is our 6M.2 PCI by 4 Gen 3 um, cards. All we can put in the our holes will be a twin legs, will be an Intel card, and the, the back slots we can put in the Intel cards. So we, it's a very modular, so you can put in two um, holes, CPU, or you can put four, four holes CPU with other com combination of the cards you have. So for this particular system, despite we have designed it uh, differently, it's still compliant to the Open Rack V2, and then. Um, for this generation, um, compared to our previous generation, the biggest difference is it do support uh, hot service and modularity. I'll talk more about hot service later on. And of, as of course, this um, design support our LCD debug card, which we need to talk about earlier. And then we designed for EMI and safety, if you can see in front. So for Twin Lakes, I'll quickly go through it. Um, basically, we use the Intel um, D2191, but we have a next section that talk more details on Twin Lakes, so the rest I will pretty much skip this due to the time, in terms of time. Let's move on. And then the, this is the Glacier Point uh, M.2 carrier card that I would like to introduce. So on this card, you can put um, any PCIe M.2 um, cards on this. So the current generation we shown in the picture here is a V1, so we can put up to six. We have one in plan that actually going up to 12 in the concept. So let's move on. So this is the PCIe CAM um, carrier card. Because our form factor of the, our slots are not CAM compliant, so for we want to use any standard PCIe card, we need this converter card. So you can, anything that is a half width, full height, by 16, or by one, as long you can, as long as it's half a full height, you can plug it in and do this. Let's move on to the next. So I'll quickly talk about a hot service because it's a new feature of using V2 uh, platform. So so for we have very we, we for in Facebook we really like to be service B to be very easy. So we have a lot of guides to our data center technician how to do it. So let's talk about quickly talk about um, card removal. Um, we can I think probably flash all out to be quick. So there's, that's something that trigger our service event and our two BMC, our USB debug card, we actually can power down the, the server. You sh and then let's move on. And then we power down, after the power down server, and then our, there was a LED in front of a slat, they will be blinking to guide our technician, hey, which slat in the rack to be serviced. And after that, we pull out the slat, uh, let's do that. After we put it out, there is a, yeah. okay, go one more, yeah. And then, yeah, and then that, that, there will be a card to be serviced, there's an LED ring in on the slot, and after it blink, the technician will know exactly which card to be serviced they can take out for service. And then just remove the card. And then insertion is easier. So we put the card into the, the slot, and then you will power up automatically, and then after that, um, hard LED will stop blinking, and then we push the slat into the we copy, and then our service is finished. So, so this is how we do it. It's, it's very quick, very easy, and then uh, my colleague, um, Anthony, will talk about how we achieve this. When we're powering the whole slat, we can service individual card. 
Hello. Uh, hi. Yeah. So as Damien said, you know, uh, you know, hot service is one of the features that we're enabling with the Yosemite V2 platform, and um, you know, this was a particular challenge for us to enable from a design perspective. Um, you know, there's a few high-level goals that we had when we implemented this. Um, one, of, firstly, is uh, you know, the solution has to be relatively seamless from the operator. You know, we don't want extra difficulties and challenges for the operator to actually perform the hot service. It should be very easy, as uh, Damien mentioned. It's um, the second thing is uh, we want to minimize power loss. So as you can see, we have to pull out the entire Yosemite V2 sled um, during this hot service event. So if we continued with traditional kind of cable approach, this would be kind of power loss that we would have to take even during normal operations. So we really want to optimize uh, power uh, efficiency even during normal operations. Um, another thing also is, uh, you know, we want to also have a mechanism in place to prevent uh, cascading failures. Um, because this is kind of like a slidable uh, chassis, um, the power connector, uh, as I'll talk about a little bit uh, in the next few slides, the eBrush and the power bar PCB, these, both these parts are actually, uh, you know, golden contacts. Um, so in the event, you know, somebody, let's say, drops a screwdriver or simply shorts the power bar, we want to have something uh, in place there to uh, protect it. Yeah, so, uh, you know, here's a kind of like a 3D CAD uh, uh, drawing that's a little bit blown up um, on the underside view. Um, you know, we, again, we have the mechanical demo and the system in our boots, so you can see more clearly after. But I just want to kind of give a high-level overview here. Um, you know, so if we zoom in here on this uh, green circle, we, uh, this is the underside view of the sled. Um, so we have an e-brush connector that will slide uh, along a power bar PCB. Um, here, yeah, again, a more ex zoomed in shot on how the connector looks like on, that's mounted onto the baseboard itself. Yeah, again, uh, just to show the uh, mechanism that uh, uh, slides in and out. Right, and, and so one thing I want to highlight because we are showing the bottom side of the sled is we actually have a fan latch toggle switch there. Um, so the primary reason we have the switch actually is to let the uh, uh, system side know, the BMC will actually know whether the sled itself has been pushed in or uh, pulled out. Uh, and, and, and it's important for us to understand this because uh, as you can see, uh, airflow on our system is, uh, you know, we have air coming in from the front and expelling the hot air at the back. Uh, when we do the hot servicing, actually, um, there will be some level of bypass that will go through. Um, so we will alert kind of the fan to, to operate at a higher uh, 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 speed um, to kind of cool the system as we're performing the uh, hot service uh, event. So we can use the fan latch to, to uh, trigger that automatically or through the BMC control. Right, so uh, I, I did mention, you know, on our power bar PCB, it's <clears throat> very much just like a power connector, um, you know, but the one thing we wanted to add was a e-fuse uh, for protection purposes, and uh, this operates on a standalone, um, and I also have some Quick notes, you know, uh, over current protection, we're aiming for around uh, 70 amps. Uh, total added power loss is less than two watts uh, during a 12 volt uh, 50 amp operation. Um, and it automatically retries after a fault. So again, you know, this will work seamlessly without the, you know, data center uh, uh, technician to actually, you know, figure out if there's something wrong um, with the power bar or, or, or whatnot. Um, yeah, so if you'd like to, uh, you know, learn more about Yosemite V2, um, you know, we did update our uh, Yosemite V2 OCP spec uh, on, on the website. Uh, Twin Lakes uh, OCP specification is also out, and um, again, we have all of our uh, hardware uh, uh, at the, uh, on demo at our uh, booth located at A13. Yeah, thank you.